What's up guys? So today, I want to talk about a character that has a huge disparity in how popular they are in Japan compared to the rest of the world. And that character is Min Min. So, Min Min. Everyone uh, knows this character. Most people don't love her. Good reason. She's really annoying to fight. So, this character is... In Japan, one of the most popular and successful characters. To the point that, even after the nerfs, she gets lots of good results from various players. Dori Magi, oh no, I think it's Dori Magi. Um, Mao, uh, Proto Bonham, when Proto Bonham decides to go to tournaments. Even on like Elite Smash, bro, I went to Japan, I went to on Elite Smash in Japan, and I kept running into Mimmins, and Mimmin players were so much better than any Mimmins in America. It was insane. This character is meta in Japan is significantly more advanced than the meta in America and anywhere else in the world. Like, Mimo players are so cracked in that area, and there's so many of them, and she's really hated, and every, like, Japanese player puts her as, like, top 10, pretty much. And then the rest of the world, it's like, you know, we all know she's a good character. We all know, she all know she's a polarizing character. Nowhere else in the world really puts her that highly rated. Her results aren't nearly as good. Their players aren't as good. So why is that, then? And, well, today I'm going to be talking about at least what I think are the reasons for that. What's up guys? You might be saying, Dan the Buzz, I want some personalized advice from your freaking ridiculous galaxy brain. How do I get that? Check out the Patreon. For $5 a month, you can once a month send me a short clip and I will look at the clip and give you some feedback, some analysis on that one. And if the clip is awesome, it might even become a YouTube short over here. Just throwing that out there. Check out the Patreon. If you want to support this channel. Peace out. The first reason, and I think this is like the smallest reason, but this is still really noticeable, is that she came out at a really bad time. She really just kind of in America got like overlooked, I'd say. And people didn't really start looking at her as a character and labbing her for like, honestly, at least a couple months after she released is when I feel like people started going back to her and going, wait, hold up. This character is really saucy and really, really, really good. We should probably be playing her. You know, whereas Japan kind of picked up on that immediately. Like, I feel like the moment she came out, people in Japan were already doing very really well with her in tournaments and just realizing she's very good. So, right off the bat, America got pretty left behind in terms of picking her up. I know I didn't pick her up until, like, probably two or three months after she releases when I started really going, I should play this character. She seems really good for me. Uh, that was one of the small things. What I think the bigger thing is is that playstyle wise she doesn't really suit the mindset of players outside of japan well because this is a character that so historically speaking japan has always been a region of more safe defensive play right compared to anywhere else in the world they just kind of love like poking out with like safe buttons really not committing a neutral waiting for the openings um even for advantage state you notice for advantage state american players are a lot more like go off like risky edge guards and like combos, juggles, ledge chops, whatever. Whereas Japanese players love to just play it safe with their edge guard, their juggle, their combos, their ledge trap, whatever. Because they really focus on winning neutral over and over and like thinking if you never lose neutral, you're not gonna lose the game. Which is honestly a lot of like my play style philosophy in Smash. Whereas American players are a lot more willing to play the risk reward game of oh, I might lose neutral, but if I lose neutral, it's fine. Because if I get this hit, I can get a lot of damage and kill you. So, Mimin does not play well into that mentality. I mean, you just look at this kit, right? You, you, you look at what she's doing, and it's like... Yeah. No, she's, she's, she's not exactly going in and pressing buttons and destroying people. Especially after all the nerfs. I will say, she got nerfed quite a bit. And those nerfs all hurt her ability to be super aggressive. Because before the nerfs, she actually had really good like aggressive options oh one thing that nerfed was air dodge but if forward smash nerf wasn't that big of a deal they made up smash come out a little bit later and have less knockback which mattered a lot actually for a close range game because before you can kind of like mash up smash burst a lot of things on block and like just as like a i want to say a guess option but like as a you can't get near me option and you still can but this one frame was kind of a break point where a lot of characters had moves that like minus seven on block but not minus eight so Going from 7 frame start to 8 frame start really hurt that as a close range option. And then, of course, less kill power really hurt this as a kill move. It still kills, but, like, much worse than before. And then they made up B worse off stage. So suddenly, or they made up B come out slower as a recovery tool. Which people never understand how much it hurt her recovery. Because she used to be able to go off stage and not die immediately versus, like, decent edge guarding. Now if you're off stage, it's, like, slow enough as a recovery tool. That's really easy to edgeguard her for this reason. So you can't 
take the risk reward of potentially going off stage in a bad spot and anticipate recovering. In 13.0.1, they they made neutral air more landing lag. It became oh, like all of them. It became a worse pressure tool, spacing tool, and combo tool. So her like mid-range control of neutral air, which was one of the best neutral airs in the game, got significantly worsened. They really doubled down and said, yeah, we don't want her to be good up close or even like mid-range. We want her good at long range with this nerf. We do not want her comboing people and pressuring them well. And then they made all of her uh, forward tilts and smashes do less shield damage, which that just, that hurts. Granted, it was very busted. She would like poke down and destroy shields super freely. But that really hurt her ability to pressure people and like actively go and get a poke down your shield and then like harass you when you have a low shield. It really hurt that to be honest. And then they made Dragon Laser have less active frames. But yeah, so the the devs really said we want this character to be a long range harassment poking safe character, which doesn't really fit into like the mindset of American players. This is also why she's become a very she went from like a very like just top tier top tier character to a polarizing questionable top tier where a lot of times with Mimin, I think you can look at a Mimin bracket and go how to explain it. You can look at a bracket with Min Min and kind of know how she's going to perform based on the matchups, right? Because she has a lot of matchups that she just auto wins if you know what you don't. And then she has a lot of matchups where she auto loses if you don't significantly outplay the opponent. And then she has some matchups where she can win or lose, but she's probably the most polarizing character in the game. This also makes her one of the best counter picks or should we say dual mains in ultimate. And I feel like I could be wrong about this. I feel like I see in Japan a lot more players kind of dual maining in Japan compared to America at high level. It feels like in America at high level, a lot of players have like their main and then maybe a secondary, but they don't really like dual main. People just kind of picked up on like playing multiple characters more so in Japan in my opinion. But yeah, so as a solo main, Mimin isn't worth it. She has too many matchups that are really hard versus common characters like Sonic. Zero Sua, she's not common anymore, is a very hard matchup for her. Wario can be really rough if you don't know what you're doing. Roy is the same way, where it's not necessarily hard for her, but if you don't know what you're doing, she's very difficult. Palutena, same thing. She, I think, wins the matchup, but you have to know how to play the matchup. Otherwise, it's very difficult. And she has a lot of matchups that are either really hard, like, oh, let's say Sheik or Greninja, or really hard unless you know how to play it precisely. And, yeah, as a solo main, as a result, it's just there's better characters to play if you're going to dedicate yourself to just one character. Or, like, if you're going to play, like, a main and then, like, a secondary, she's also not a great secondary. She's a great dual main. But she has a very weird control scheme, right? Like, just moving around and swing with her, it feels very weird to be, like, moving and swing with tilt. It feels weird to have a character that's so bad at close to mid-range. Outside of the fact that, like, she has, like, burst options to get out of that. Like, that. Like, dash attack. Like, shooting grammar Ram there. So, it's like, she's a character you can't just play and win with. She's a character you have to sit down and really learn to, like, beat people with if they know what they're doing. And that does not make her a good secondary. That makes her very much like you have to really dedicate the time and practice to her. So, kind of in, like, those regards, I don't think she fits, like, the mindset of regions outside of Japan and Smash. And then, as a result, we had an interesting effect happen, I think, where people start playing her in Japan, start doing better with her in Japan, and kind of, like, the knowledge of how to play her really spread and multiply exponentially in Japan, right? You had all these good players playing her very quickly. She was so hated on release that she was doing so, and doing so well in online tournaments that every tournament VOD with Mimin in it was getting massively disliked. Like, she was nerfed so much because Japan hated her so much. I cannot ex exemplify much how much Japanese players hated and still hate Min Min to the point that, like, Nintendo nerfed her, like, more than, like, Steve and Kazuha and Aegis because people were just like, fucking hate Min Min in Japan. Please nerf her. And, you know, Japan, I mean, Japan, Nintendo being located in Japan is going to see those complaints the most. And we're in America, you know, I was playing her, but I was playing her as like a secondary or dual main with like Rosa and all or Trimane with like Rosa Olimar. It's like I wasn't focused on her. You had like Isan playing her for a little bit with Pikachu and me Brawler. Um, you had like Pinkfresh playing her and you know Justice, good player with her, picked her up. And like you have good players with her, but really like you had no one 
in America dedicating themselves on the same level as like Proto Bonham in Japan at that top level of play. So I think she kind of fell behind as a result in America for that reason. And then what also I think happened, um, at least in my personal experience, is then finally fighting people know the mid matchup really annoying. So it's like if I'm not like dedicating myself to the character, it's rare to fight someone who's like very comfortable versus the matchup in a matchup I don't know. Because if you get hit with her, it's scary. You just die. She's a very scary character to play. Because even though she's very obnoxious and can kill people with amazingly safe, like, edge guarding, she can just get her up stage and die. And it's really scary if you don't know a matchup. And then I found when I was fighting people from Japan in particular, who have all this Mimin experience, that it's really hard to fight them. Because they know how to exploit her. They have all this matchup experience I don't know. And from my perspective, when... Japan's becoming more and more common at like top level. It's like it's not worth investing time into her when I'm gonna be fighting players where they're so good in the matchup that I don't have a chance to get that good in the matchup and beat them. So yeah. And then also in America, um, we just don't have characters that she plays as well into compared to like Japan. Because sure, Japan has like a good amount of Greninjas and Sheiks who she's like not good versus. But Japan has always played more zoning based characters compared to America, right? Where America loves out like more aggressive get in your face press button types characters and mimin is really good as a counter zoner you're a projectile zoner you're a slow character and you're just like kind of like a safe sorty character like mim is great versus you but if you're like you know getting in someone's face with someone like fox or ninja roy she really struggles up close so just the character picks in america tend to be much better uh, against her I think these are all reasons Mim became very popular and thrived in Japan compared to really any other region in the world. I know I keep saying America because like North America is like the second biggest Smash region, but I'm sure a lot of this logic would apply to a certain extent to Europe. I can't personally confirm, but yeah, she really was just like a character that fit perfectly into the sensibilities of Japanese players, the play styles, even just like kind of like the, the character pick methodologies. Because goddamn, she is... If you have, like, a good character for, like, a good amount of the bracket, she is an amazing secondary or dual man to have to just, like, get... Take out the trash with. Her polarizing matchups are so powerful. But yeah. Let me know what you guys think. You know, do you guys agree? Do you guys have some other opinions of, like, things I didn't mention? Like, what do you guys think in the comments below about this? Why is Mimin not popular in North America, compared to Japan, in your opinion?